Hi guys, um, how are you? It's Brick Nostalgia here as usual. Um, what I would like to do today with you is to talk to you very briefly about how I fixed uh, the pneumatic system in this set. Uh, long story short, I bought it um, second hand. It's a vintage set, so very old as well. Um, I put it together and um, after going to, to try the system I could see that nothing pretty much was working. I was just pumping through the red cylinder and there was just no motion in the arm. Uh, so what I would like to do with you very briefly was uh, will, will be to go through uh, uh, the few steps I took in order to, to find the problem, isolate it and resolve it. Okay. Um, I've already taken a few pieces off, as you can see, just for uh, to make it easier, to, to make the explanation easier. Um, so what I did, guys, was this. Um, the very first thing I did was to lubricate the pistons. Uh, in, the, in the instructions, it suggests that if the pistons are not used for a very long time, you should just move them up and down for a while um, with your hands in order to just make sure they become airtight again uh, in case they lost, uh, they, they lost um, um, grip, let's say, um, being unused for a very long time. I did that but things were still not working and actually I could just really feel with my hands that there was a lot of friction inside the pistons uh, probably due to, to things being too dry inside so what I did was just to use some WD-40 just uh, spray a little bit here um, where the connection is and uh, just start doing up and downs for a bit until I was making sure I, w I was feeling that uh, the lubricant was um, was all the way inside so reducing friction it uh, WD-40 worked very well in terms of uh, uh, reduce a lot the friction within the pistons but it still didn't resolve the problem so the problem was somewhere else what I did then as next step, I checked if uh, uh, there was a problem with the switches. Uh, what I did in order to figure out if there was a problem with the switches was to um, check if the system was working without the switches. And what I did was simply to connect uh, any, this red piston to any one, one by one. Um, to any of the yellow pistons through just a pipe and see if there was a good motion between the two. So for example I was taking this piston, take this piston on their own, just connect them directly with a pipe and check if after pushing or pressing this one or pumping through this one uh, the, the other piston was going to do any up and down so if there was going to be any air motion within the system and actually that was happening um, with all the pistons so um, so that was was a proof that uh, the piston themselves were working and then what I did after checking that was to start to put one switch at the time in the system that was between one red piston and one yellow one so it was red piston at this point it was in order to check every single switch was to get a red system sorry the red piston to connect to one and just one of the switches and then get the um, the pipe to go to one of the um, yellow pistons and check if there was still motion after uh, changing the settings with the pistons and I could check that independently for all of them things were still working. So at this point uh, um, I realized that um, the problem was not there. So once I realized that the pistons themselves were working, that the, uh, the switches themselves were working and that um, there were no pipes obstruct 
At this point I went to the last option possible which was this piece that you see here on the bottom. Um, and actually what I found out was that this one was the problem. Um, how I found it out was simply buying another one. Uh, what I did very first, this is the not working one, the one that is installed here in the, in the build is the one working. What I did was simply, uh, at this point my last option, uh, my last possibility was this one. And what I did was just try to open it and see if there was going to be anything that could have been fixed inside. So I just got a screwdriver and just, just pushed it. But actually what happened is that the, mm, the piece broke. Um, now I glued it together so I can't really open it anymore and uh, show you what was inside. Um, but yeah, let's say that if you try to open this, you're going to break it. So don't bother about it. Um, however, after open it and break it, I uh, decided to go to BrickLink and buy a spare one and just test if uh, this could have been a problem. After a couple of days, and I spent two pounds to buy a replacement, uh, to buy this piece. So, um, as soon as it arrived, I just plugged it in, and everything started working straight away. Uh, very efficiently, um, as you can see in the review of this set, um, that you will find in the, uh, and you will find the link in the description below, Things worked very well, both manually and putting the motor through, so the problem was resolved. Um, so that's it, that's what happened to me, guys. Um, I just want, now the set, I'm very happy about it because the set, the quality of the set has been re-established or restored, and um, this is a fantastic set. I want to use the pumps and the pneumatic system for other projects in the future, so... Um, I'm very happy that the whole thing uh, is working, otherwise pretty much this purchase would have been a waste of money. Uh, but this was the problem and um, I just wanted to share this with you, you know, for you guys so you, if any of you um, is going to have the same problem you can, um, you can have some directions on how the, these things could be fixed, okay? Uh, so guys that's it if you have any question uh, just let me know and I'll see if I can help otherwise uh, just please rate comment and subscribe if you don't mind I'm gonna be playing posting lots of videos um, over the next few months so thanks guys for your time and I'll see you later okay